I keep it in my toolbox. You should too. You should too. GFCI circuit fault. Just restart. The 30 amp milliamp tester. This is the only electrical tester you will need. It is the Klein's tool electrical tester. I keep it in my toolbox. You should too. It has open wiring notification, correct wiring notification, open neutral, open hot, hot ground reverse, hot neutral reverse, ground fault circuit interrupter, AFCI arc fault circuit interrupter, 30 amp milliamp tester, on and off power supply. Have you seen these cheap little plugins at the home improvement store? $5 to $9. They're garbage. Get rid of them. This is what you want. Buy this Klein tool outlet tester. Keep it in your toolbox. You will use it for everything. You will need no other electrical testers. You can check the correct wiring configuration and it'll show you every possible defect. They've included some in there that I don't typically use myself. So that's impressive. Hey, check this out. When you first turn on your client's tool tester, all the lights were energized. So you can make sure that there's no malfunction in the tool first, that everything illuminated, you know, it's going to be working correctly. Okay, so once you turn on the device, it's immediately showing open hot. Of course, open with electrical terms just means it's not connected. So that's obvious, no hot current going into it. Let's test this outlet. Okay, it shows that it is wired and correct wiring. That's checking the ground, the neutrals, the hot, everything's working. Let's check it for GFI. Okay, it tripped the GFI outlet. It is wired correctly and it responded correctly. Check that out. Reset to the normal conditions. It also shows you, check out down here, energized versus non-energized. So with that feature, if you're working on an outlet and you want to make sure it's off, you can check out the energized versus non-energized feature. Okay, this one's also showing correct wiring. You can use the 30 milliamp tester, and that's a, a quick, short circuit, and it's going to trip your GFI. So that's a good way to test to make sure they're really responding accurately. And that, again, stands for ground fault circuit interrupter and arc fault circuit interrupter, which are safety in bedrooms. Go around your house, check every single outlet. Gives you all this information in a clear, easy to understand way. So you're installing a new outlet and you're unsure if it, you did it correctly or you have an outlet that's been faulty, go ahead and test it. Your new Klein's complete outlet tester will tell you everything you need to know. This is the one and only outlet tester tool that I will now keep in my toolbox. I will throw all my old ones away. This outlet tester will tell you so much more data compared to the cheaper ones. And it's only a few dollars more, guys. I am an Amazon associate. Click on the link to see the current pricing. If you do a completed sale, I will receive a small commission. Let's keep testing it. Whether you're in the house, garage, workshop, basement, you can test all your outlets for correct wiring. And if there's something wrong, it will tell you the exact correction you need. Again, open simply means it's not connected or it has a loose connection. So it's going to check your grounds, neutrals, hot, reverse polarities. You can check your safety outlets. This one is energized. The battery power in the device still works. Batteries are included in the kit. So I'm going to keep this around for years and years. It's the only outlet test you need. Go ahead and throw it in your toolbox. You'll use it at all your electrical projects. Hey guys, you got this. I know you can do it yourself. I often have people ask me, what is the best outlet tester? That one from Klein's is my choice. I'm going to put it in the video description down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Catch you next week.